So Vanessa, whereabouts are we here? Gary, we're actually in Northgate, which is a new estate in the northern suburbs of South Australia. Okay, in Adelaide. In Adelaide, okay, yes. Okay, yeah, yes. no worries. So Lightsview is kind of like a bit of a luxury kind of estate, isn't it? It is. Okay, so the estate was designed for sort of that upper end luxury market. So did that play a part when you were designing the house? Definitely, it did. The developers were really focused on creating a benchmark for residential living, and they were also really focused on design and articulation as well. Yeah, well, I mean, just driving around, you can just see that some of the houses are really, really, really remarkable. This one specifically. This one's quite beautiful, hasn't Isn't it? Isn't it amazing? Yeah. We're standing under a massive big uh, void here. Mm -hmm. um, so the moment you walk in, this just hits you in the face. Well, I'm looking forward to having a look, so shall we take a tour? Yeah, come through. Okay. My favourite thing about Metricon is how they dress their display homes. They all have a very different theme and everything is carefully considered, right down to the smaller details. Vanessa, this is a, a really special space. Yeah. Um, I love the, the detail, right through from the timber ceiling through to the amazing cabinetry in the kitchen here. So did you have anything to do with the cabinetry? Yeah, I designed the cabinetry. It's really, really stunning. Oh, thank you very much. So what was your thinking behind um, the colours and the style? The style of joinery um, with the veneer timber border is the style that's out there in the market. Yep. So I grabbed that idea and applied it to our um, Metricon kitchens yep. and this is the end result. It's just really stunning. So um, if you go onto Lookbook, um, mm -hmm. the Metricon website, and you go to the Lookbook tab yep. and you can, you can go on and discover a whole world of interiors. You can, yes. So what um, colour range is this called? This is called Simply Scandinavian. There's a real trend at the moment for mirrored splashbacks. I mean, how does that work? Well, it's just a very clean, sharp way of presenting your splashback. Yeah. Yeah. And it makes the room look so much bigger. It gives a sense of space back to the room. Well, what I love about your cabinetry work here is the design. So it's kind of stepping away and it's kind of like asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. So what's your thinking behind all of that? Um, so with the feature island bench, I wanted to have almost like this stone floating um, block and that was to be cantilevered with this timber upstand on the other side and that actually acts as a breakfast bench. I love how all that whole stone, which is so heavy, it looks yeah, like it's floating. Exactly, and that's what I was hoping for. Otherwise it would just be like a square, a square bench and that little detail at the end there creates a breakfast bench. Yeah. Yeah, That's so it's quite really practical clever. as well, yeah. The other thing too is we've got um, about 15,000 um, butler's pantries here. Mm -hmm. Actually only two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there two there or is one a laundry? One's a laundry, one's a butler's pantry okay. and they're interchangeable. Okay. So whichever the client prefers they can go with. Yeah, it's just really, it's really great how also the Scandinavian, simply Scandinavian theme yep, that's has it. been carried from the kitchen into the butler's pantry. So yep. the detail doesn't stop. You'll see that detail throughout the whole house. It's just stunning. This theme is perfect for those who are after a contemporary home with clean lines, uncluttered spaces and wanting to showcase some interesting furniture pieces and artwork. The Scandinavian furniture with honey and washed timber are mixed with fresh whites and contrasting charcoals. Another thing I've noticed too is through the, the, the glass panel here, mm -hmm. uh, what would normally be you'd look on, out onto your neighbour's fence yep. would be an absolute disaster. Mm. Metricon have gone to the trouble of dressing that. What we try to do is we try to capture a view out of every window. Yeah, which is which makes sense because mm. I mean, um, so much of, of our living today is capturing what's happening in the garden. Yeah. It's that outside, inside kind of living. Indoor, outdoor living. And that's what's happening right here. I mean, we're right beside the pool, mm -hmm. and those um, massive big bifold doors fold back. Yep. Out to that stunning al fresco space. Isn't it beautiful? And the living areas literally just spill out, so it creates a real seamless connection between the inside and the outside. Well, just talking about seamless connections, um, the, the detailed roof mm. there, the timber roof, is that cedar? It is cedar lined. It's just really, really stunning. It actually flows all the way out to the al fresco as well. Yes, it does. And it creates, again, that connection between the two spaces. Yeah. So Vanessa, it is just a really stunning home. I mean, you've done an amazing job of, of designing it. So, I mean, what happens in a designer's mind when they've got the blank piece of paper? How do you come up with this? Well, at first we get given a brief. So we have to know the demographic that we're appealing to in the area. Okay, so this one here, mm -hmm. who, who is it designed for? More the discerning buyer. And okay. it's also aimed at growing families and also extended families as well. I mean, there's so many living spaces as well. So we've got the formal sitting room at the front of the house, which opens up to the veranda. We've then got the kitchen, living and dining space, which opens up to the outdoor space. Yep. Um, and then also upstairs, we've got a leisure room, which is great for the secondary bedrooms. It's like a kid's breakout area. I mean, there's always somewhere where people can go. I mean, you don't have to be on top of each other. You Not at all. Space. Exactly, and that's why it's great for growing families and extended families. Yeah. The Sentosa was recently awarded the 2013 Best Display Home within its category by the Master Builders Association, a true reflection of the design credentials of this home.